Carl Lukovic, right here. El Grand Apollo, the perfect mixture of a young athlete. Only thing he has, he hasn't got experience. And there you take a look at Dickie Steinborn, who's got all kinds of experience. And he's a great wrestler. Look at that leg block. But Apollo, with his speed, just turns him right over. When we talk about experience in professional wrestling, Bobby, this man, Dickie Steinborn, he's been around for many, many years and had great battles with, you name it, the top names in professional wrestling. That's right. You know, a lot of guys in professional wrestling back a few years ago, if they wrestled Dickie Steinborn, a lot of the promoters come out and watch because they know that Steinborn is going to give you 110%, and they would just see what the other guys were made out of. Steinborn was kind of a measuring stick. And you can see here, Steinborn is just out wrestling El Gran Apollo, but El Gran Apollo is coming right back with wrestling maneuver after wrestling maneuver. And he's getting, I'll tell you right now, he's getting that experience. When you talk about wrestling holes and ways of escaping, Mr. Steinborn, a master at this task. Apollo on the other end, a young bodybuilder turned pro wrestler. Look at this move. Look at this. Yeah, I'm in a pinning combination there. Oh, good skate by Apollo. And Steinborn, his specialty is the move, the yeah, quick move. See how quick that was? El Grand Apollo waist locked him when, he, when Steinborn was trying to come up. Steinborn didn't get shook up. He just went around into a pinning combination on the man. That's experience there. Okay, full Nelson by Apollo. Obviously, here the strength. It's on a favor of Grand Apollo. But here comes Steinborn using the ropes. Steinborn, you get him every one thing. Those ropes are not something that are just an eyesore in the ring. They help you too. Those ropes can help you win matches if you know how to use them. He will use it to advantage. And when he feels like he's been outsmarted, and Benny, not too many guys could do that, he will use those ropes to hurt his opponent, to choke him, to drop him on top, yeah, or to throw him over. And when you're hurt, you can get to the ropes and they have to break the hold. That's, those ropes are a good thing. Here comes Steinberg. Good hip toss. Wow, good kick by Apollo. Look at the strength. That's brute strength on Apollo. He just threw him down on a body slam, and I think uh, Steinberg hurt his side there a little bit. I think Steinborn just sitting there saying, well, we better get this thing together. This kid's a little stronger and quicker than I thought he was. Steinborn, you got to go out there and you got to grab him now. He's, he's, there he goes. That's beautiful good. amateur takedown Good right move. There. You could easy break, break the leg on an opponent. If he's coming forward to charge you, and you're able to catch him off guard like that, his knee could go at any time. Do you watch how Steinberg hooked that leg on that leg there so that he couldn't be pulled off that hold? I know the fans of the World Wrestling Council really enjoyed every match of this man. Many I know used you to go hit his there, tactics, you got, a, you got a good wrestler out there, Dickie Steinborn, and El Grand Apollo's got to punch you. Now you tell me why. Well, what we're not seeing here is all the other insults in the interviews on the way he expressed himself against the Spanish wrestlers or his opponent. Steinberg used a lot of psychologies throughout his career, and he will sometimes just come to the door of the other uh, opponent's dressing room and just curse him out right there, even before he went into his own dressing room. Well, that's the way guys do it. Or, or throw a rock at your car or insult your old lady or your girlfriend. He will do anything I to use it about Steinborn I like. into his... Well, there is one of the comments of Mr. Jaggers. Uh, you know something, you got to take a look at Steinborn. Steinborn now, he's saying, boy, he says, this young guy here is just definitely bedazzled me right now for about five minutes. He says, I'm going to have to get in here and do something to change this, and let's just see what happens. There's a nice tackle off the ropes. Went in behind him. Beautiful roll-up. Oh my Beautiful roll-up. One, two, oh! And he was trying to hook for the trucks, Did but you look see at the drop the power? kicks on Apollo. Now, those drop kicks can make you change your mind in a hurry, my man. Well, they'll make you change your direction in a hurry. And if you have any brains, you get the heck out of the ring and that's, change your mind. That's what Steinberg did. Many, many battles. Steinberg's going to box with him now, which is the wrong thing to do. Steinborn, you give this boy too much confidence now, now you can't even control him. I could recall a match between Carlos Colon and Dickie Steinborn. I went through for 60 minutes a draw that I was amazed to see the many wrestling holes used by Mr. Steinborn, by Carlos, and the way Steinborn would skate. When he was almost pinned, he would just 
be able to magically pull out some kind of defense move and be able to escape for 60 minutes was a shocker of a match. It went uh, to, the, to the limit, and Steinbrenner almost coming out a winner, but uh, time ran out. It was a great match between Carlos Colon and Steinbrenner. Also some great matches of him and then, and then Bader's. Bader Steinborn won, is Bader one of the best in the business, Lucas Vinovich. And one thing you always say about Dickie Steinborn, he lasted with him. He stayed with him. He never ran from nobody. He never started a fight that he didn't finish. And I'll tell you one thing, Dickie Steinborn, even to this day, is still a respected name in professional wrestling. Okay, good move by Apollo. Steinborn hitting his head on the top turnbuckle as Apollo trying to regain some energies here. Look at that punch by Steinberg. He comes right at you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That punch whoa. By Apollo just about knocked him out. Oh, low, kick. low blow right yes, there. Yes, it was a low kick. I don't think it was intentional, though. I think, I think it was intentional. I knew this El Gran Apollo. I wrestled him a few times. Okay, Everything he did was intentional. Look at the style on Steinberg. A classic style. Boom, boy, they, they're they going in for a test of strength. They're going to see who's the strongest one of the two. And I think Diggy Steinborn just bit off a little morning chew with El Grand Apollo. Uh-oh. Changing kicks with Apollo. Not the right move by any means. Look at, look at the arms on Apollo. Yeah, he's got a reverse arm bar right there on Diggy Steinborn, but that just opens you up because you're too close to the man. You know, Apollo, many of the experts, when he was coming along, had predicted of him becoming a world's champion but nobody was counting on the factor of, of the injuries in professional wrestling and two serious injuries by one was by bob sweet and another one i can't recall at the moment just uh, took all the hopes that apollo had he had to retire well, otherwise right. he was risking oh look at that move right there beautiful one two three by oh. grand apollo he beats the he beats the experienced man Boy, that, was, that was a shocker i'm telling you that was something wasn't it one two three and a surprising win over Dickie Steinborn by El Grand Apollo. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to show you a little...